Ever since the release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker's teaser trailer number one that made its debut over at Star Wars Celebration back in April of this year, followed by the second one over at D23, it left a lot of fans around the world very excited and eager to see the third and final trailer of Episode 9 by, of course, Disney and Lucasfilm that would provide the fans a better sense of the overall tone of this movie. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, what's really exciting about Episode 9 is that we do do know that this movie is of course going to have various connections to the prequels and the originals as well as really throwing in many new revelations that's going to change our view of some of the key characters like Luke, Palpatine, Rey, Kylo Ren, etc, etc. So with that being said, the new trailer is actually said to be the thing of great interest right now for the fans around the world. A lot of fans want to see more Kylo Ren, more Palpatine, etc. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film. And when it all comes down to various shot descriptions of the upcoming trailer 3 of Episode 9, this is where things begin to get very intense for this film. Now, specifically, shot descriptions consisting of a sequence where it's explained that Kylo Ren and his Knights of Ren are said to be fighting against Rey, where the Knights are said to be based inside of Palpatine's throne room, where they are said to be using special weapons that go up against Rey's lightsaber in the shot. It's explained that Palpatine's throne room appears to be built inside of a cave of some kind, while Rey is fighting the Knights of Ren as Kylo Ren observes in the background with his ignited crossguard saber. Now, it's said that the scene is very dark and fast-paced, and includes prequel trilogy choreography and fighting styles, where as this happens, it's said that a new theme for Rey is said to play over the shot by John Williams. The next describes a sequence in which it's said that Palpatine is said to be laying on a medical table, where it's described that these mechanical tubes can be seen going into Palpatine's arms and legs as well as his abdominal area, where Kylo Ren is said to enter the room with his ignited crossguard saber, where Kylo is said to hover over the weakened state of Palpatine that is said to be on life support. This is where it comes in on Palpatine's face, where he begins to laugh at Kylo Ren with the famous laughter by Ian McDermott, followed by a line of dialogue stating, your journey to the dark side nears its end, where it's said to transition to a moment where Rey is actually said to be in front of, of course, a large Jedi statue, where her eyes are said to be closed, where she's actually holding a Jedi holocron that eventually levitates in front of her, where she is said to disassemble it into multiple parts, where the voices of Anakin, Kenobi, and Luke, as well as Yoda, can be heard in the distance. It's said that in the background, large kyber crystals can be seen behind Rey, where lastly it's explained that Kylo is said to be in the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon, where he appears to be dodging X-Wings and TIE Fighters in the middle of a massive space battle. So let's go over a couple of parts about this upcoming trailer. Now, the thing about Disney and Lucasfilm is that they really want to provide key shots, right? And also, you know, uses of misdirection, right? A great example here of misdirection that will be used in The Rise of Skywalker is Kylo Ren using the Millennium Falcon in the cockpit, actually flying his father's ship. Now, that's going to lead one to believe that he's actually using it to fight against the First Order, where in reality, it most likely connects to the previous leaks that we went over, that there's going to be a part in the Episode 9 film that Kylo Ren actually steals the Falcon sometime at the very end of the first act of the movie. So keep that in mind. I think that that is exactly what they are going for. It does connect to the past leaks. So, uh, the one thing that I think a lot of fans are going to be so-so on is that a good part of this movie is going to have a weakened version of Palpatine. We're talking about the first act primarily, where the second act you begin to sense that there's something a little suspicious about Palpatine and what he wants from Rey and Kylo, right? But for the most part, in the first act, Palpatine is going to be in a weakened state, basically on life support, he's on the verge of death, he's hooked up to this large machine, it's almost like a dialysis machine of some kind, where he's actually hooked up to these tubes where Kylo Ren comes in the room with an ignited saber, where, of course, Palpatine states, your journey to the dark side nears its end. So that line of dialogue seems to be a complete version of what we got in the D23 teaser, where it just says, your journey, pause nears its end. So, like I say, we do know that Palpatine is essentially going to recruit Kylo Ren to find the girl Rey, and it, it does also match directly with the other leaks 
that Palpatine unveils to Kylo Ren that Rey is indeed his granddaughter. Now, it also makes sense as to why Rey would be the granddaughter of Palpatine if you guys go ahead and check out The Last Jedi full and official trailer where she ignites the blue blade right after the Lucasfilm logo. You can actually hear Palpatine scream. I mean, it's very clear. You can hear it if you boost your volume up. And now you can see the reason as to why they threw it in there. It was a little nod and or hint, piece of foreshadowing, if you will, of what was actually going to occur in episode nine. So the upcoming trailer, like I say, it's a big deal for Disney and Lucasfilm to get this down correctly because a lot of fans need to be sold on this movie, right? They have to actually go in trusting that Disney and Lucasfilm will deliver. So anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.